Josh Boyer was fired as defensive coordinator and that left a huge hole in the Dolphins' coaching staff. The next Miami Dolphins defensive coordinator has to be someone with experience. Not just a year or two, not some up and comer, they need a bona fide defensive coordinator that knows the NFL and can maximize the players' abilities. Lucky for the Dolphins, they have a nice looking defense. Miami will undergo player changes on defense, but the next defensive coordinator will inherit quality players that are under contract for at least another season and an executive staff that wants to try and keep the defense together. Unlike other teams, Miami defensive issues have been with coaching and game planning, not certainly the players themselves. Christine Wilkins, Xavier Howard, Emmanuel Ogba, Bradley Chubb, Zach Sealer, Jalon Phillips, Jevon Holland, all of those players return next year and Byron Jones could be back. Trill Williams and Nick Needham will be healthy, Cater Kohu should be back after a surprising season. And while Miami will have some changes that need to be made, overall the core is in place. For whoever takes the job. Miami has to get this right. The Dolphins are wasting defensive talent and have done so for years, 2014, Kevin Coyle, 2015, Lou Anarumo and Coyle, 2016, Vance Joseph, 2017, Matt Burke, 2019, Patrick Graham, 2020, Josh Boyer. Those have been Miami defensive coordinators since 2014 and none of them had previously held the position at the NFL level. Miami needs to change that this year. The last time Miami had a defensive coordinator with previous experience at the NFL level in that job was in 2011 when Mike Nolan was the defensive coordinator. So far, Miami has interviewed four candidates for the role, Chris Richard, Anthony Campanile, Sean Desai, and Vic Fangio.